All right, we're seeing the Pantheon band coming out, Pantheon Oriana. Um, not sure about the Oriana, but I definitely agree Pantheon is a pretty busted champion. LeBlanc, Cassio, yep, nope. Xerath, and... One last champion. Who's it going to be, UPS? Zed. All right, so Pantheon, LeBlanc, and Xerath for Mega Average. And then Ori, Cass, and Zed from UPS Employee. So now we're going to see what uh, champions are going to be played for tonight. Yes, so uh, both players cannot see who uh, they are hovering. They are completely blind. So they will not know to swap any summoner spells later on. Elise. Aurelia Jace. Yeah, a lot of strong power picks in 1v1s is actually up. So I'm wondering what we're actually going to see. It's, it's going to be a good one, boys. It's going to be a good one. Five, four, three, two, one, and it's locked. Fizz versus Brand. Fizz actually took the snowball. That's kind of a troll uh, summoner spell. If, for, for those of you who, who uh, haven't been around for long, um, way back for uh, when Riot started doing these like uh, pro player for fun tournaments, um, Double Lift versus Froggen. I don't remember who Double Lift was playing, but Froggen, uh, he was playing Olaf into him, and he took Snowball. Um, the interaction was hilarious as uh, the Snowball landed, and it traveled, uh, or it made Olaf travel with Double Lift, who was currently backing all the way into the fountain. They did a remake. Froggen picked Olaf with Snowball, and he died the exact same way again. You can't make that up. <laughs> I mean, you could, but... It was not a fun time. They remade the game explicitly because they didn't know that that was the interaction. Double it was kind enough to be like, hey, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. And then after the second time, everybody was dying. Even the casters were just dying of laughter. And that is why Snowball is a quote-unquote troll summoner choice. Now Brand, on the other hand, he went Flash Ignite. Flash is a pretty good idea to take against a champion like Fizz, who will be throwing out his ultimate uh, to try to catch him. I think... So Brand wins the poke war. 100%. But Fizz can win all in trades. It's up to Bran to actually get the stun off before Fizz uses his troll pull. I, I don't know what it's actually called. I apologize to you Fizz mains out there. I, I do not know what uh, Fizz's E is called. <laughs> Hopefully, however, um, we actually get into the game. So, for those of you who didn't watch the stream last night, um, 
in the last matchup, um, the game ended so soon that the load into the game didn't even happen. It just kicked them out because the game wasn't in progress anymore. Cottontail Teemo and Zombie Brand. Yes, and this is where you get to show off any of your uh, your skins, how, how much you've paid for this game. Brand's still trying to decide what he needs to buy. Blasting wand. He's going in. Um, Welcome to the howling abyss. Blasting wand and corrupting potion. Okay, so I agree with the corrupting potion to an extent. Because uh, you're going to be constantly dealing bleeding damage or dot damage with your passive. But I don't agree with the blasting wand. Like, yeah, it's a huge damage thing, but so is Hex Drinker. He got the big carrot. I actually haven't seen Cocktail Fizz, so I'm not sh I, I haven't seen any of his uh, little things. Got him. Got him! But, uh, Brand did win out that one. Lost the can creep. But Mega Average got both relics, so he's he's feeling pretty healthy. Uh Brand is also I think he has chugged through all of his corrupting potions. So Fizz now wins the Sustain War. Fizz is now level 6, Bran has to be super careful. Especially since he's lower on mana than the Fizz. Uh, I believe Fizz is W, so it... Fizz's next basic attack does this, and empowering Fizz's attack for 5 seconds. Dealing an additional blank amount of damage. Uh, it refunds 20 mana and it costs 30, resets its cooldown to 1 second and does not grant the 5 second on hit buff. Alright, Brand did go and obliterate. Um, so you can back in this. Like, you can 100% back. Fizz has... Uh, yeah, 1300 gold, so he can... Oh no. Oh no. And that is the game. Fizz goes in and got him. That'll be game one going to the side of Mega Average. Alright, good start for Mega Average in this series.